I made uh, some experimenting changes here. Uh, pretty nerdy, but uh, it's really important for gameplay uh, if we want to put gameplay into our experiences or into our islands, which I do here. Uh, and the thought process here was I needed ways to track stuff, you know. So, again, I'm into this scorekeeping, and I figured out how to, you know, hook up experience points so people can earn experience points that they can, you know, use uh, in the stores and stuff. And they could also... Uh, I needed a way to track uh, and award players within the game itself and, and, and understand where they stood in the game as a game played. And this game doesn't have a whole lot besides playing things, but what, what led to this first approach was I wanted to give people credit for the fact that they um, went in here and played uh, you know, s songs using the sequencers here. So... What I did is, uh, I'll show you the, this is the only graphic part of it, then it's going to be all the rest of it's going to be looking at code. Uh, the, if you, if you run over here, you know, and you grab a patchwork tool, what you're going to see is you're going to see some print messages up here once I grab it. And what, what I'm going to, what my thought process here was every time they grab the patchwork tool means they've come into the game to play it. Right. And, and I'm going to give them credit for, uh, um, grab the patchwork tool because they, they are going to play the music. So I'm giving them credit for the fact they must have gone ahead and played music. That's why, And that's why they're in here. Uh, and and I, so I want to give them that credit. So I need, I want to track with this player the fact that they have played music 10 times, for example. You know, they've been in here and got up here and grabbed the patchwork tool 10 times. So I had to figure out how to uh, track that and that's what this is all about how to track it from session to session So the next time they come in and know that they've been in ten times and I'll give them eleven as the next one So as you'll see if I pick this up, you'll see that it'll give a little message saying how many Yeah uh, So I've got one And but let's say if they came in again and I could get all the way out But I can just do it I can I haven't programmed the fact that you can't pick it more than once But if I pick it a second time, it'll say oh two mixed and I picked a third time third and four if I got out it would still remember that I had two and that's what I'm going to show uh, here and that is it's all code and a lot of it so I had to make I made three basic classes and so um, there's there's two things going on here so I'll, I'll talk about that first of all there's the idea of now I've organized the the game or or the the organization of how games would play, so the game play inside of, of, of the games, inside of the islands, uh, around uh, a custom player class. So basically I wanted to say each player tracks their own data. I don't have separate arrays and stuff that's tracking things. It's that each player has a, cl a custom class associated with them that, that is stored in it things about that player. So that's called the custom player right here and all I've done for to start with is this custom player is a player class is uh, I track did they get the patchwork tool that's all I'm tracking and and but I'm but this this you put a lot of stuff in so this will be this will this will keep track of the player stuff so cool you know if it was a death match it would you know how many times were they eliminated it would be whatever you want to track about the player during that game yeah, and so rather than having a bunch of arrays inside of a game manager, you actually put it associated with uh, each player, and each player manages its own, you know, manages it manages its own state. And I mean that's typical object-oriented programming. So all I did is say, hey, why don't you why don't I apply object-oriented programming to to this Fortnite game and and, and the Fortnite scripting here in verse. So. Um, but the main part of it is that that's good and cool, and it'll keep track of any kind of gameplay during during a specific session. You would store it inside of the player classes, and then um, then then the uh, then what could happen is if you needed a, a, an actual game manager class, you know, it could go say for all players, you know, go get this class and go get whatever variable you wanted that affected the gameplay. But that again, that's not the important part here. Then there's a couple new. Uh, things here 
there's a player data, player data manager. And what, what, what that is, is a new class. And it's actually a, a mixed class. It's got a bunch of classes and there's a bunch of code here. And what this is managing is the state of the player. And, and, uh, and so, so it would be much like the player class was managing it in the game. This is just managing it in such a way that it can be stored out uh, um, and persisted. And this is how I, I figured out how to persist things. And um, it's not a lot of code, but but it was pretty hard to figure out. <laughs> but anyway, the if I look at the at the uh, down here, I've got a stat type that I'm managing, or it could have been a data type. I could have called it probably better. But the it is, and right now I'm only I'm only tracking basically a variable um, called mixed. What is mixed? Mixed is, um, I'm giving them credit for every time they grab the patchwork tool. And I'm giving them a, I'm upgrade, you know, every time they grab the patchwork tool, I would update this mixed variable that's being persisted um, for that player uh, inside of their servers. And that's what persist does, is it stores them there. And it's basically it stores it in a, and a what's called a weak map uh, and basically what it is, is is basically it says out there in the database there's a you know uh, data structure that says that the key is player and the data that's stored is player table player status table and player status table right now uh, only has in it one variable which is mix so every time that they picked up that patchwork tool it's going to up it's going to update, add to this mix stat. And all that, that's all that this does, um, is it goes ahead and, and stores that. So, so, that, so that's, that, that's this class, and it stores it into a persistent class, persistable class that, that's out on the, the server. Now, uh, the other thing I have is I have a actual gameplay. This is how it is, it's executing gameplay. So I've got something that's, the custom player class is just a way of storing data about the player. I've got something that stores, you know, their persisted data, which is a player data manager. Um, and then I got some way that I want to, um, this is how I integrate gameplay uh, with that, uh, those classes. And so basically in the gameplay, I say, you know, I, I keep, I'm, all I'm doing is I'm practicing some things here. So, for example, I, I, and some of this stuff is just not implemented yet. Like player spawn, every time they're going to player spawn, I'm going to have another, besides mix, I'll have another one that said, you know, visited or something, another variable that's persisted. So I'll know how many times they've just, how many times they've just come into the, um, the, the island. Um, but, but I do, what I do here is I do subscribe to how, when they spawn, when the patch, you know, the, 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 the item spawner uh, spawns that patchwork tool. I subscribe to when they pick it up. So when they click the E to get it, it goes ahead and runs this. And what this does <coughs> is it does a couple of things. It, it's it got the old data that goes ahead and says, hey, go tell the accolade system. And the accolade system is, you know, the experience points. Go tell the experience points to give them some experience points, which is independent of me, you know, that's their system for experience points. That's independent of what I'm doing here for uh, my control of, of, of the game, some, some rewards that I would offer inside of the game. And so what I do is I basically, to says I say, hey, um, go ahead and update. All this does here is say, hey, go ahead and add one to whatever the mixed was, add one to it, and call this, um, record player stat over in the players, you know, player states manager, uh, which is over here in the player data, which we saw before. So all that does is just then persist that 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 mixed variable out in the um, um, persisted data store uh, on their servers. So that's that's it. And the other things I, I keep track of here. You know, so there's there's two things going on here. I, maybe I should have put them in separate classes. But the the there's there's the keeping track of or, or persisting data. You know, and then you know getting the whatever that data is, and then there's also the 
tracking whatever's going on inside of the game under in, in the custom player classes. And because of that, I've got some stuff here set up that says, hey, when the player comes in, you do certain things. You, basically, you populate that that player class with whatever you want to populate it with. Um, and in my in this in in this case, you know, it would be I might grab stuff for the persistent store if I wanted to as well. You know, but it's basically the the custom classes. What is it currently in the game? Um, and then the uh, when the player leaves, all I do is I have some code here that says, well. Um, you know, take care of whatever happens. Let's so so if the player had something, you know, you know, and I'm just not even sure like this. You know, the uh, classic. You know, if they had if they had caused something to happen, clean them up. For so for example, maybe if they'd been running a light show and they left, it would cancel the light show. Or if they'd been doing beats, it would cancel the beats. Basically, this is just a cleanup. This is a player left. Do something to to um, to to um, clean up just clean it up right now I'm not doing anything right now I'm, I'm just uh, um, all I'm doing is just updating the, the player map you know the, the basically the custom players which is a, uh, a a data structure that keeps track of all the players all I'm doing is just taking them out of that custom players array you know I'm saying that the game the gameplay would use for whatever they wanted to do so that's uh, a lot of talk about a lot of stuff that's just a bunch of code and all you saw it do is update and display on the screen how many times they picked up that device. But the the that it, it is absolutely important for uh, uh, building gameplay, whether it be a tycoon game or you know any kind of game that 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 that, that we want to put game logic in. Uh, this would be the approach I would take.